So one of the um, things that before meeting today is I asked on UK business forums uh, if any sort of business owners had any questions they'd like to ask or put to come to this house, the things that they've come across themselves. So what I'd like to do is sort of run through some of these. And yeah, sure. Um, now, one, the first one on the list, I think um, we may have already touched on already as the sort of forthcoming solution, but they've experienced uh, situations where one person is showing two, three, four or more times on company's house, uh, often with either a slightly misspelled name or a misspelled address. Um, twofold, really, is how does that get resolved uh, if it's seen to happen? And then secondly, sort of what sort of plans are in place to overcome that sort of situation happening again? Yeah, so the first thing I guess is this is probably one of the, the loopholes that we've talked about. So um, I can register a company. I can register it with my name, Martin Swain, spelled with an I. I can register another company spelled with a Y. I can register another one spelled with an E on the end of my surname. And I'm the same person doing all of that. Um, at the moment, that's not illegal. Um, we don't verify ID, so I'm not. I don't know whether it's that person, that person, that person. In the future, obviously, verification will will solve this because we would require ID verification to, to prove that you're the person. Um, unfortunately, this is where the fraudulent people exploit the company's register. And they do exactly this type of thing um, where they just make a slight change to the name. Um, it doesn't go unnoticed. Um, you know, we do have an integrity team, we do have an intelligence team, we do track these people um, within the confines of our powers. We will talk to law enforcement agencies, we will talk to the police. So if we do see this kind of behaviour where it's being used for um, illegal purposes we will you know we will take action i think um a lot of press reports tend to paint companies house as a very passive organization um we can't we obviously can't talk openly about our tactics in terms of trying trying to tackle criminality but um you know we do a lot behind the scenes where we see this kind of thing